Hello, in this lesson we are looking at logarithmic functions as inverses. Our essential question is, what is the inverse of the exponential function f of x equals b to the power of x, where b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1? What are logarithms? Logarithms provide a way to work with the inverse of exponential functions. That is, the inverse of the exponential function is the logarithmic function. By definition, log base b of a is equal to x if and only if b of x is equal to a. The log is read as log base b of a. In other words, the logarithm x is the exponent to which b must be raised to get x. Another way to consider this is, what exponent is required to go from a base of b to reach a value of a? To convert from an exponential function to a logarithmic function is a three-step process. Step 1. The base of the exponential function becomes the base of the log. So my base of this exponential function is b. It becomes the base of my log. Step 2. The term the exponential function is equal to is the log. So my exponential function over here is equal to a. Then my log is a. Step 3. The power of the exponential function becomes what the log is equal to. So our power of our exponential function over here is x, which means our log base b of a is equal to x. Let's take a look at a few examples of converting exponential equations into logarithmic form. Our first one is 10 squared equals 100. To convert this into logarithmic form, I'm going to follow the three-step process. Step 1, my base of my exponent is the base of my log. What my exponential function is equal to is my log, and that is equal to the power of my exponent. And so 10 squared equal 100 is equal to the log base 10 of 100, which is equal to 2. Here's another example. Again, following the steps. Step 1, my base of my exponent is the base of my log. What my exponential form is equal to is what my log is, and the power of my exponential form is what the log is equal to. So 3 to the power of 4 equals 81 can be written as the log base 3 of 81 equals 4. Converting to exponential function follows a similar three-step process as converting to logarithmic form. I'm going to start by making a loop. Step 1. The base of my log becomes the base of the exponential function. Our log base over here is b, so that is the base of my exponential function. Step 2. The term the log is equal to becomes the power of the exponential function. My log is equal to x, which now is the power of my exponential function. Step 3. The log becomes what the exponential function is equal to. So my log is a, that means my exponential function is equal to a. Evaluating the logarithm. What is the value of log base 8 of 32? To calculate the value of log base 8 of 32 by hand, what I first need to do is change the log base 8 of 32 into an exponential function. To do this, I'm first going to write log base 8 of 32 is equal to x and then use the three-step method to convert the log into an exponential function. Step 1, the base of my log is the base of my exponential function, which the base is 8, so my base of my exponential function is 8. What the log is equal to is the power of my exponential function, and that's step 2. And then step 3, my exponential function is equal to the log, which is 32. From here, I know that 8 and 32 can be written as powers of 2. I know that 2 to the power of 5 is 32, and 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x would give me 8 to the power of x. 
I can multiply the 3 and the x to get 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Since my bases are the same, I can ignore the bases and just set 3x equal to 5. From here, solve for x by dividing both sides by 3. We get x equals 5 thirds. So the log base 8 of 32 is equal to 5 thirds. Alright, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon.